at y'all live from the kitchen looking like a hobo this is my favorite outfit every time i'm home i'm like okay i have to be comfy and this is always the go-to it is saturday morning right now i am making a coffee currently i just brewed a shot of espresso and i want to show you all how i've been making my coffee lately it's the same as normal but i wanted to show you all my new creamer because i don't know what's wrong with me but i think i might be turning into a cinnamon girl so y'all know i hate cinnamon and i have this Chobani cinnamon coffee cake creamer. It's actually really good. I do majority hazelnut, but I do do a splash of this and it just gives it a little something extra and I really like it. So, shot of espresso, double shot. I'm gonna do hazelnut creamer and a little splash of cinnamon coffee cake. And we do ice. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in this to dilute it, kind of like a latte and an Americana mixed together. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but a little bit of water. Just so it's not so heavy, just more light. So it looks like this. Here we have it, simple little coffee. This morning, it's gonna be so good. I have to show y'all my face right now though. The girl from the waxing place, let me come over here because the lighting's a little better. She ripped my skin off. So I went to get a wax. She did this side of my lip and it was fine. And then she did my unibrow area, totally fine. And then she came on this side and she did the wax so far out and she also did it like underneath here, which I didn't ask for. And I just could tell she was getting more careless on this side and was trying to go really fast. And she ripped above my lip and on the side of my lip. I'm so upset about it. It actually really hurts, but it's also like annoying because now I have that little thing. I hope it and pray it doesn't leave a scar. But yeah, honestly, it is what it is. It's just a part of it. I did see on TikTok that it could be because I'm using a retinol because I use tretinoin that my skin's a little bit more sensitive when it comes to waxes. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but maybe that's the problem and maybe, oh, maybe it wasn't the lady's fault. Maybe it was just my skin's really sensitive right now. I don't know, but it looks bad and hopefully it will go away soon. I'm in my office room right now and I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare. The reason I came in here is because the lighting's a little bit better and my bathroom, it doesn't have a light and also it's just like really bright lights in there so I kinda don't like to be in there when I film. But anyway, I'm using the CeraVe moisturizer. I'm hoping that the combination of, oh shoot, I wasn't gonna use this first, it's fine. Today is Saturday and i have to work tomorrow but i'm hoping i can just vlog all day today maybe monday i don't know i'm just gonna vlog the next day a few days of my life and post it for y'all i'm really excited to vlog because i haven't vlogged in a really long time so i'm so pumped and it's such a beautiful day yesterday it was so weird like the weather was so weird it was windy as crap i tried to go outside and tan which was I knew I should have never done that, but I went outside to tan and the rug kept blowing up and my coffee tipped over. Like I had a full, I had a bigger mason jar than this and the whole thing tipped over on my back porch. So I had to get that up. But today is a beautiful weather. It doesn't even look cloudy. It looks really sunny. It's still a little bit windy, but nothing too bad. I'm using Neosporin. My mom and I are probably gonna go to Raleigh today. That's what I really wanna do because I really just wanna kinda shop around, see if I can get some ideas or inspo for a chair that I could get in my living room. I really want like a big chair with an ottoman. Um, I kinda want a runner for my kitchen. What else do I want? I just want so much stuff. Oh, I want a new bedspread really really bad i actually need a new bedspread because mine is like falling apart it looks rough i've had it for years and years and years and i need to get a new one so i am gonna be on the lookout for that i also want to go to trader joe's 
to get some fresh flowers for the house and I kind of want to get some dips and some dressings and stuff like that from Trader Joe's. I just love going in there, so I want to do that. I just used this Milk Makeup Lip Cheeky Stick, by the way, which I've shown before. I literally use that thing every single day. And now my little freckles. We got this pin off of Amazon. I just kind of roughly do it, and then I blend it in. I'm doing this all without a mirror, by the way. Ooh, my voice, what? <laughs> Curling the eyelashes. You know what? I saw a girl on TikTok curl her eyelashes after she had put mascara on. And when she released it, it literally ripped all of her eyelashes out. So ever since I saw the TikTok, I'm like, look, you freaked out. But honestly, you gotta risk it. Life's about taking risks. I straightened my hair yesterday. Part of me really loves the way my hair looks when it's straight and part of me hates it. I don't know why. It's just... My hair's been weird lately, um, but I'm going to put some Moroccan oil, oil on it and just try to get the frizz to go down and just to put a little bit of moisture, moisture in it because my hair is very dry. Okay, so that's my little skincare, makeup, hair care situation. I'm going to call my mom. She just texted me and said, are you ready to go? Yes, I am. All right, OOTD. Let's do a little outfit. Oh, fit check. I got this little sweater from none other. Just take a guess. Take a guess. TikTok shop. I got it from TikTok shop. For like literally $5 or something. And my little linen pants. These are like a nude linen pant. I got these probably like three years ago. I think from Talbot's. When my mom um, was shopping there, I got these from there. And honestly, they slay. Rainbow flip-flops, coffee, and I also got this little sticky, grippy thing from Amazon a few days ago, and it's honestly like half life-changing, half annoying, because it sticks to literally everything, and I can just like stick my phone on anything and do like a little outfit of the day or like something like that, which is why I got this, or stick it up and take photos of like my family or something and not have to have a tripod. And it's annoying because I can't lay my phone down on the counter without having to, so I need to start like putting it face, uh, face down. Anyway, yeah, so I can just like stick my phone, like there's a screen door right here. Let me just show y'all. I can literally stick my phone to the door and take, take a photo of myself right now. If I wanted to, let me put the timer on, timer. Three seconds. Okay, I'll try to include that picture on the screen. But yeah, it's honestly amazing. But it is low-key a little bit annoying. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm waiting on my mom to come pick me up. She's going to bring me some vitamin E oil to put on my skin. I called her and she was like, oh my gosh, that looks horrible. And I was like, really? It looks that bad? <laughs> um hopefully not also i have to show you all this wind right now because it is absolutely out of control you can kind of tell a little bit it's not that bad yesterday it was like insane but you see how much that tree is moving So we made it to the mall we're at pottery barn and i'm just kind of looking around Oh, I like these pillows. These are so cute. I really want some new pillows for my couch. And I'm also looking for some bedding for my bed. Which over here they have some. That's really pretty. I like that. I'm in desperate need of some bedding. What else is I going to look for? Oh yeah, a chair. I want to get a chair for my living room. So that's just what I'm looking for. I highly doubt I'll get anything today. I just kind of want to come and see what they have. Get some inspo. But I really like this vibe. Mama, come look at this. Do you like this? I think that's so pretty. I don't know. I mean, not that exact thing, but I just like the color that it has in it. Yeah. Or, yeah, I like that. I think that's really nice. Yeah, that's a quilt. That's pretty, too. I like that a lot. Solid. That's really pretty. Look at this nightstand. I like that a lot. That's another thing I need. That is pretty. Yeah. You can change that out. I really like how thick this right here is. I don't really know how to make the bed like this. I guess you have to have a lot of layers, but that's really nice. I know. See how much it is. 
Actually, yeah, that's pretty too. 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 Yeah, I like that too. Too cute. See, the problem with these nightstands, I think they're so cute, but they're so short. And my nightstand needs to be a little bit taller because, oh, there's my cup. My nightstand needs to be taller because my bed is taller. Or either I just need a new bed or something, I don't know. But that is too cute. Taller nightstand right there, mama. Yeah. See, that's almost what I would need. Mm -hmm. See, I like how it's in line with the yeah. bed. That is too cute, but <laughs> absolutely not. Crate and barrel. I like that setup too with the double couch. See, I don't like that as good. I feel like that's almost kind of similar to what I have now because it's just flat. Oh, I don't like that. But I really like the pottery barn, how they have the layering. Like the layering. Yes. But even see, so, like, I feel like if I like actually did the layering I, I don't want it to look like that how it's just like something laying on it no. i want it to be like folded, folded, yeah, folded and yeah line. yeah i've almost say less where's the s oh it's right there it's a dark one i wish it was like i wish that was the s oh my gosh that is so pretty or that wow love that Anthropology has the cutest home stuff ever. I got myself some hot chocolates. We are currently at the car dealership place because my mom's getting her car serviced. Um, but we had to cut our shopping experience a little bit early for this appointment. But I'm definitely going to be back because I want to go to Pottery Barn and actually get one of the bedspreads from there. Because I really like the way that they looked. And I didn't get anything today, obviously. But I'm definitely going to be back maybe this week or next week or something. But I want to look online too and just make sure I'm making the best decision. Because I really like the quality. And honestly, I didn't think the price was that bad. At least at the one I was looking at. So I need to look online and see if they have anything else. But yeah, that is what we're doing right now. So good, by the way. It's Dove hot chocolate, which I didn't even know that was a thing. We're at Trader Joe's. I want to get me some flowers for my house. I love these hydrangeas. $5.99 for these, mama. That's not bad. Those are so pretty right there. Look at that. That's a ton for $5.99. That's three. Those are so pretty. home I wanted to show y'all what I got from Trader Joe's also my mom gave me this vitamin E oil that I've been trying to put on both of these spots so hopefully this will help I don't know if this will be better than Neosporin but I feel like it might be so I've been kind of doing both but I want to show y'all what I got from Trader Joe's and do a little Trader Joe's haul first thing that I got these little gone bananas frozen banana chocolate bite things I'm absolutely obsessed with these. They have strawberry too. I've been getting these for years and I just love them. They're honestly so good and they're really, really cheap. So I got two of these. They're always sold out too whenever I go, which is annoying, but they had some today. So I had to get them. I think I got are these little dumplings. I've tried, I want to say I've tried these exact ones before, but they have a lot of different like variations of these. So I've tried some. I want to say these are it, but one time I had some that were like gingery and I didn't like those as much, but I'm pretty sure this is, these are the ones that I like. Um, but I just cooked these in a pan with soy sauce and they were so good. So I got those and they're so easy, like on the go. These are also really easy. Um, the sour cream spinach dip. I love this stuff. And then the buffalo chicken dip, super easy peasy. So I got those and I also got some whipped cream cheese. And the reason I got this is to combine with the Trader Joe's cowboy caviar. So they were giving out samples and they mixed this cowboy caviar corn, black bean and pepper salsa dip. They mixed this with a little bit of cream cheese and it was so good. And they scooped it up with like a little Frito chip. It was amazing. So I got these. My mom also got some of these. Lastly, I got another thing of everything but the bagel seasoning because I've used all of my other one. And then I also got a vegan Caesar dressing. 
I really wanted to try this. I don't think I've ever had this before. I've had the green goddess dressing and I didn't like that as much. So hopefully this will be good. But yeah, I can have this with salads and stuff. So I will let y'all know what I think. But that is my Trader Joe's haul. I think I'm gonna eat some of this right now because I am starving. I also forgot to say, I got some tulips. These are so pretty. I wanna put these in a vase. So I've gotta figure out how to do that, cut the stems off, cause these are pretty long. Then I also got some hydrangeas. So I need to get these in some water ASAP because they are probably struggling because we had like a hour job home. I just changed my clothes clearly back into the comfy outfit. And I'm going to put these flowers into vases. I have these two little vases. I think these are a little short, but I mean, these pins are so long. It says cut one to two inches off, but I'm definitely gonna have to cut more than that because there's absolutely no way. Let's try that much first. That still might be not enough. Oh, these are so pretty. I love these. Now for the tulips. Okay. Apparently I was supposed to leave these in the sleeve for a couple hours to hydrate, but I already cut it, so my bad. Hey, Richland. I you did not. Yes, I did. Shut up. I did. I'm getting a blue jacket. You are kidding me. I'm not. Babe. I'm not. I'm, I wish I was there with you, honey. What's our day? Really ain't no girls here. Nothing. Babe. That's the long, that's the long ways of us. But I just wanted to let you know. Honey, I'm so happy. I'm going to go up here to the I'll keep you updated. Please take pictures. Make somebody take photos of you. Okay, I will. Please, I love you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so my boyfriend, turkey season started, like hunting turkeys. And he went this morning to, or he's been scouting for turkeys. And he went this morning to hunt. And he killed a turkey and I guess, I don't really know how it works, but like entered it in this competition called Strut Masters. And if, if anybody knows more about this than me, I don't freaking know. But he won. He, I guess he got the biggest turkey or something out of everybody and he, he just won like a ton of money. <laughs> That's crazy, y'all. Last night he was low key like anxious about it. He was like, I don't even care about winning. I don't wanna even win, I just hope I kill something. Like I just hope I see a turkey and kill it and like have something to present. And he literally won it. That just goes to show, like he was literally anxious about it last night. That just goes to show that whatever you're anxious about, if you just give it to God, I don't know if he prayed about it or not, but I certainly did. I said, I said, God, just take his anxiety away. Just help him to kill a turkey tomorrow. Even the small things that you think God doesn't care about, he clearly does. Richard just literally won the whole competition and he didn't even care to win. He just wanted to like, he was happy to be there. And oh my gosh, that is, thank you, Jesus. God is so good. Like that's insane. And it's not even that deep, but like, he just won a lot of money. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Freaking incredible. Oh, I could just cry. These are so pretty. These are absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, I love them. Light that comes through my kitchen is so pretty at this hour. It's like six o'clock, but I really want to move my couch on this wall right now. I don't know why, I just have like a streak that came over me that I'm like, I need to rearrange and like spice things up around here. So I'm gonna try to do this right by myself right now. We'll see how it goes. I don't wanna like scratch my floor up or anything, but I just need to take the rug out from under the couch. Okay, well, I guess the rug does need to be there. It, anyway, it's fine. But these pillows are the ones that came with the couch and then these are for my mom's, but I hate these pillows. They're just not very cute, so. Maybe I can get some new ones. I really like those ones at Pottery Barn that I saw today. We shall see. I kind of almost wish I had like a small sectional. Oh 
Okay. Okay, I need to put the rug back, I think. So I just moved the couch to that wall. And obviously there's a huge open space here. I need to move that nightstand. I was going to move it right there, but there's obviously no cord or no plug there. And then I don't know if I just want to leave it like this because once that's moved, it's just going to be weird and like kind of empty. But I kind of like the idea that I can lay my head here and face the TV instead of laying my head here and my body this way and having to turn towards the TV. Eventually, what would be really nice is to keep the couch here, I think, and then to put like a, a big chair here with like an ottoman like a small ottoman and then like a coffee table here in the center. I think that would be really, really pretty. And then maybe get some either photos on the wall right here or either like a big piece of art. Trying to figure out what the vibe is. And also today when I went to shop, I was trying to get some inspiration for some chairs and like ottomans. And I did not see any that I liked. I didn't hardly see any at all in general. And when I got there, I was more focused on like the bedding aspect. So I didn't hardly see any chairs, but I don't know. My living room just needs some help. I mean, a lot of areas of my house need some help as far as decoration. So we'll see. I'm just trying something new. Let me see if there's a plug. Oh yeah, there is a plug. I could move this right now. Oh. Put that here. We'll not eventually get a, a new one of these, but you know, for now. I want to eventually get a new one of those, but for now, this is what the vibe is. It's not too bad, honestly. It's kind of cute here. I really kind of want a new rug too, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know though. We'll see. Couple days, I had to work yesterday and today's Monday and it's currently 4.15. I've had the busiest day trying to help my mom get some last minute tax stuff done because today's I think the cutoff for taxes and Richard took off today so we've been hanging out. He's actually in the store right now getting some stuff. We're gonna go fishing. So he just went, we just both went and got some little crickets for bait and we're gonna go fishing right now. So it's a chill vibe. Also I did some shells and did some shipping today. So I've just had like a very productive day and me and my dad had to go like buy ink just like random errands so that's why i've pretty much been doing all day but i am excited to like get outside go fishing like enjoy the weather because it is like really good weather day it's really hot honestly it's like 88 degrees and the wind's blowing it's like a really good vibe today feels like summer so anyway i just wanted to update y'all i might vlog a little bit later because i'll show y'all if i catch a fish we'll see how i do these are our crickets that we're gonna be fishing with today hello everyone how are you guys doing in there i'm really really sorry for what's about to go down now from our fishing trip I had to come home and take a shower before I started cooking because I felt disgusting but I want to show y'all my little shorts that I got from Shein uh, aren't they so cute little boxer short trend I think they're adorable little stripes they're so cute and then this is from Old Navy that's right um but anyway I just got home to shower like I said but please if anyone has any insight to what I can do to get rid of the scar and the scar. It has been a couple days since I got that wax and it's actually been more than a couple. It's been like three going on four and I'm like low-key starting to freak out because yesterday it had scabbed up and then the scab fell off and 
now it's just it literally feels exactly like my skin like there's no no texture or anything this one's a little scabby still but i'm mainly concerned about this one because i feel like you can see that worse than that one so if anyone knows what to do i've been using vitamin e oil i've been using neosporin i've been using aquaphor <laughs> I don't know what to do so if anyone has any insight I guess I just need to be patient but it is really really annoying me like honestly even my acne doesn't annoy me like this is annoying me because it's on the side of my face I can kind of like hide it but this you literally can't hide it but anyway we caught a couple fish today so we're gonna eat some fish tonight I'm just kidding we're not we are having chicken parmesan so I got some Rayo sauce, I got some breadcrumbs, I got some eggs, and we are gonna make a homemade chicken parmesan. done with dinner now and I just went and curled my hair because I haven't really curled it in a while I've been wearing it straight a lot lately but I feel like it looks so much healthier and less dry when I curl it does anyone else feel like that I don't know my roots are also really starting to come in but I feel like it looks less noticeable when it's curled but yeah anyway I put on my skincare and I also put on some of this road glazing milk which I typically do um wear this but I asked my dermatologist about it to see if it was bad for my acne or bad for my skin like to see if this was possibly what was breaking me out and she said she doesn't think this is it she looked at the ingredients and she said it was probably fine so anyway that's why I'm using that but I did my skincare I still haven't put on any like tretinoin or anything but I did my hair so I feel kind of like put together so that I can wake up looking decent but the reason I wanted to film right now is because Merit Makeup sent me a couple products I'm so excited to try them they are freaking adorable can we just take a second for the packaging so pretty I don't know if anyone's ever tried Merit, but I personally have never used Merit's makeup. I feel like sometimes with makeup for me, I get stuck in a rut a lot. And anyway, I'm really excited to try these. And they also sent me this little bag. And apparently, if you order something from Merit and it's your first purchase, you get a little cute bag exactly like this. So these are the two little lipsticks they sent me. And the reason I wanted to try them out right now on camera is because I think in like a week and a half or something I have a wedding coming up and I've been debating wearing a red lip and so I was like okay this is literally perfect so I'm trying to think whether or not to wear a red lip because I don't know if I want to go outside of my comfort zone which I feel like I probably should do every once in a while so yeah let's try both the first color I'm going to try is called classic it's like a pinky top vibe which I think is so pretty. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. Actually, it's more of like a dark nude than it is a pink, in my opinion. So anyway, let me take off the chapstick that I have on my lips right now. I kind of want to put on some lip liner. Because I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk is similar at least. So I kind of want to line my lips just so that I can get a really precise line. Okay, let's put this on. Oh my gosh, this is creamy. When I first put this on my lip, I was kind of like pressing down because you know how some lipsticks can get kind of hard. This is actually really creamy. Oh my gosh, I love this color. Okay, this is the color close up. I really, really like it. This is going to be a nice everyday lipstick or like if you're going out on a date or something and you want something a little heavy, but you don't want it to be like crazy. That is so nice. Let me put on a little gloss and just see like what the vibe is. 
I'm gonna use this random gloss. It's actually a lip, Too Faced lip injection. Terrifying. But I just wanna see like what it would look like with a little gloss on. Okay, I love that. Love the color. I love how it like applies on the skin. It's really creamy, really buildable, really natural color. I love it. Okay, this is about to be my new everyday. This color is called Power. This is what it looks like. This is like a deep red, like almost like a burnt, not, not really like a burgundy, but it's like a really, really deep red. That is so pretty. And I like how it says Merit on the actual product. And I just watched this Vogue video of Kendall Jenner. She put on a red lip and she was saying how she's been seeing it trend right now, like an undone red lip. So it's like, you don't put any liner and you don't make it super perfect. You just put it on and like go with the flow, like almost like an everyday, lip but it's red you know what i'm saying so it's like a little bit dramatic i can't get over how creamy this is oh my gosh i always want to like press kind of hard but you don't even have to because it's so creamy so far so good y'all see how creamy that is okay honestly that low-key eats. Okay, these are going in the makeup bag immediately. Make sure you shop Merit. You can get a little cute bag on your first purchase. And I'll have the link to their website in the description. So make sure you shop. I'm not getting paid to say that, by the way. I'm just trying these products, and I just think they are really good. Tulips are blooming so nicely. I feel like I almost need to cut them a little bit shorter just so they're not leaning. So they're sticking up a little bit. But, yeah, those are... The tulips, and then these are the hydrangeas. These are also, honestly, when I first got them out of the thing, they were low-key a little bit wilted, but they've come back to life, and they look so good. I have my peach juice, and I just finished working on a few shells that I have to ship out tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to end off this vlog because I need to edit the vlog and get it up by tomorrow, and I have to work all day tomorrow. So, I'm going to be up all night tonight, let's just say that. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and let me know in the comments what else you want to see. I kind of want to do a little question box on Instagram or something, so that people can tell me what else they want to see from me on my channel. Um, so yeah, thank y'all for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Ta-ta! <laughs>